let's go to Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So what is that saying? Tattoos are wrong. Don't get any tattoos. If you have any tattoos, you need to repent of your tattoos. I have a tattoo and I have repented of my tattoo. Let me show you my tattoo. Okay. So as you can see here, this is a picture of a demonic dog on my arm. And the words under it is not in English. It is in German. And what it says, Typhoon Hunden. So in German, that means devil dog. I believe I am pronouncing that right in German. I don't know. <laughs> but as you can see here, there are flames on this dog, on this demonic dog. And I have the name Devil Dog tattooed on my arm. <laughs> so we wonder why many curses are placed on us because we are placing crazy things on our bodies. Does that make any sense? This may be the reason or if you have a tattoo and some people have very extremely demonic tattoos like of demon faces and all types of crazy stuff. And that may be the reason why you have so many curses in your life. You may be trying to change your life. You may be trying to do something with your life, but because of the things you do and what you put on your body and maybe the demonic things that you may eat or whatever else may be reasons why it is so difficult for you to get out of the rut that you are in. Meaning anything. So don't get any tattoos. And I got this tattoo back when I was 18. And of course, I was in sin. I wish I can take this thing off though, to be honest with you, but you know. So repent of your sins if you have a tattoo. And let me say this, with people in witchcraft, I don't know everything about witchcraft, but you may get tattoos of pentagrams and all of these crazy types of things and you may be drinking and eating crazy things as well and you may want to change now but it may be really difficult for you because of what you have done so really be careful of what you put in your body and on your body because tattoos are not cool look a demonic dog on my arm why would I want a demon on my arm now let me say this you will put demonic tattoos on your body, but would you want that demon in your home? If you are not in witchcraft, if you are not crazy, you would not want any demons in your home. So why would you put it on your body? Including myself. <laughs> why would I place it on my body? With me, it was ignorance. But why would you continue to do it when you know that it is wrong? So now you know that it is wrong. You are placing demons on your body. And I believe this, they are going to hold some type of control over you when you do that. I believe that when you tattoo yourself, you are doing some type of agreement or something like that. I believe that some type of covenant or I don't know what word to use. So you are really given permission for that demon that is on your body, some type of control over your life. So tattoos 
are not the business. Just because your favorite rap artist or singer have a tattoo does not mean that you have to place you have to place tattoos on your body. Don't do it. Even if you plan on getting tattoos of butterflies or something really cute or whatever else, don't do it. Demons, demonic. Tattoos are demonic, even if they look cute. Even those tribal tattoos, don't get them. They are demonic. Okay, so if God is saying not to do it, does it matter if it seems harmless or cute or whatever else, don't do it because obviously it is going to cause a curse to be placed on you if you do it. So that tells me, hey, let me stop doing what I am doing. So spread this to your friends and stuff like that, telling them to not get any more tattoos. Okay, God bless.